I don't know how, but I'm up 0.4 from yesterday. So I weighed in today at 486.2. I don't know how. This is what I want you to do. Shut the fuck up! Hello, and welcome to another commentary from my channel, You Guys Have to Realize. I'm back. It's been a little while. Uh, I've been putting up some weird content lately. Um, thanks for watching that. If you haven't seen it, I've been putting up some wacky, weird stuff. <laughs> you know, just trying to grow the channel in different ways. But we're back here with another classic commentary. However, I will say, I'm going to do it a little different today because this this video that Amber put out today was just really bad. We, and when I say bad, um, I mean it was really sad. There's not much to laugh at here. Uh, so I'm going to try my best to insert laughter display the laugh track here, ha ha ha. So let's just get right into this here. A lot of us take mini vehicles to the Amberverse. Some of us take comets. Some of us drive luxury vehicles. Me, I take a Volvo station wagon. So without further ado, strap yourself in and grab a snack because we are headed towards the Amberverse. Working on this editing might take a couple hours. Make some bagels taste sour, then I take a shower. Here we go again. Amazon unboxing till it makes me feel better. Then I'll cover up the comments like some stretches in my sweater. Betty, ain't felt this good since I broke up with Becky. I get my Torrid on, I'm feeling sexy. Like Miss my pill reminders cause I'm on too many meds. Yeah, I gotta stay in bed, but I'm feeling good. <laughs> I don't do my taxes, I might need some help. I don't plant a garden, I get lettuce off the shelf. I don't wanna work hard, I just want the clout. I don't like my girlfriend, so I switch them out. I don't wear a seatbelt, it only slows me down. When I order Uber Eats, I gotta have the hash browns. Yeah, I got a couple lawsuits, I had to leave town. I don't have a license, my girl drives me around. Target haul, Torrid haul, don't check the price, I got it. That money stacking up like those calories I counted. Amber starts today's vlog talking about how she really wishes that she could have lost more weight. And I just have to say that there's not really any reason to think that whenever you're also thinking immediately after that, I'm going to have a seafood boil. Um, <laughs> it's just asinine thinking. That's asinine. And here's four reasons why. I don't know where you're, you're getting off thinking that you're going to lose weight and then immediately after think... I think I'll go have some seafood. Like, that's just insanity to me. But it gets pretty serious whenever she starts talking about her lymphedema. She then proceeds to talk about how uh, her caloric intake um, seems to be off. She just can't understand it. She just can't wrap her mind around daily caloric intake. And I, I don't know what's so hard to wrap your, wrap your head around. It's 2,000 a day per adult average female, 2,500 for an adult average male, myself, and that's it. Like, if you eat more than 2,000 a day, that's more than what you need. So you're going to gain weight. You eat less than 2,000 a day, you're going to lose weight. That, that's literally science. Like, what you're saying is what doesn't make sense. Obviously, it varies a little bit from person to person. But girl, it's not going to vary that much for you. Your, your original body type, it's not big. You need to stop thinking about this like, oh, well, I'm different than everyone else. You're not. You're really not. Amber then goes on to clean her bathroom, which I have to say, it was, it was pretty bad. There was a lot of trash on the counter, a lot of uh, just things that I kind of wish that she would have just cleaned up as she was going. It, it's like, I don't know why she would uh, not throw away used things, like used makeup wipes. She just sort of tosses them on the counter, and that's just pretty gross to me. Um, you know, just my opinion there. I don't think I like this club. Amber then spends the next 10 minutes or so talking about everything she's eaten and her calorie intake and how it just, she just doesn't get it. I tried to react to this and it was just too much. It's like, I can't just sit here and be like, it's almost like I'm talking to a brick wall, you know? It's like, she'll sit there and be like, every time I diet really hard, it forces me to binge. Every time I binge, I have to start a new diet. It's like, where do you draw the line? At some point, you have to be able to draw the line. It's this or I die. I don't know. It's like you, you just have such trouble drawing that line. I said hobbies would be good for her, something to take up her time, something that would provide an immediate, tangible result. That would help to provide her with a more active lifestyle, you know, distract her from eating so much. If she, if she truly does have the binge eating disorder, as she claims, which a lot of people dispute that. 
a lot of people dispute that. A lot of people will be scared here. A lot of people will be scared and I'll name them. Oh, finally you're here, bitch. You got a dollar? You know, these are just a few suggestions. But moving on because, uh, you know, this, I don't want to spend literally like 10, 20 minutes talking about uh, basic science and how her bathroom's kind of gross. Um, she then moves on to buying pants on the internet. <laughs> I don't understand how these videos can be grouped like this. Like, the vlogs are just so weird. Um, she moves on to talking about these pants and talking about how they're tight on her. Um, isn't that like the treatment that you would receive for lymphedema? Like bandages, like wrappings and stuff to help bring down swelling? I, I don't really understand how you would think that, oh, I'll just buy tight pants. That'll help. That'll do it. She then goes on to talk about the other things that she bought and then spends a solid amount of time just shopping online. Just shopping online. And this is the view we get. We get this awful zoomed in shot. We can't even see the name of the website here. And it's just like overpriced gaudy crap. <laughs> but after we finally get through all of that, the jewelry, the pants buying, we get to this. 10 days have passed <laughs> and Amber has completely thrown out everything that has just happened in the video. I don't get it. I d <laughs> Woo, Lou, Lou. Woo, Lou, Lou. She says that after this video was shot, after the, the first part of this video was shot, that she proceeded to binge and continued to binge and binge and binge. Why are you eating a Caltein bar? I'm starving. They make you gain weight like crazy. <laughs> so who knows where she's at? Who knows what's even going on? And she even, she also said that she had a lot of things happen in her personal life that she doesn't want to talk about. God help us, who knows what's about to happen in the Amberverse. And when you think about this in context with everything that's been happening behind the scenes, you know, her saying, do not refer to her as wifey, refer to her as only my girlfriend from now on. Like, no, you, you don't get to tell your audience what to do. That's not how it works. Like, it really is just funny, the contradictory statements that you see. In my honest opinion, I think Amber might be losing it a little bit. Um, she really seems to think that she has some sort of grasp on things at one point, and then just will immediately, imme and I, I do mean immediately, um, she will just totally start talking about the opposite, the opposite thing of what she was just saying, you know? This whole, like, yeah, I don't know how I didn't lose weight, think I'll go get some seafood boil, like, it was the same sentence. The same, she was even self-aware about it, saying, I don't know how I can think that. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Like, yeah, you are a mess. You need to get your mind right here. Like, you done lost your damn mind. When you get your damn mind, you call me. What is important to you? Seriously, think about this. What is important to you? You need to really think about that. You know, I don't know if you already did that. If you, I don't know if you already did this with your 10 day off scheduling thing, but uh, you should probably really consider what's important in life at this point, because this YouTube career that you've got going for yourself, this self deprecation, this cycle of hatred that you perpetuate, it is very unhealthy and you know it. So maybe you should just try and get some new revenue streams going, you know, like actually do some good merch, stick to it, and you'll fucking be okay. And then you, and you won't have to put out all these YouTube videos. Like, <clears throat> I saw that you were, like, talking about how your favorite art medium is music. Put out some music, girl. Make some music. It'll be crappy, but people <laughs> think it's funny. Like, you hear that new song I just put out? It's a country rap song. What do you think about that? Fuck off. <laughs> Show's over. Fuck that. I'm out of here. But with that, I think we're going to finish up the video. We have just been teleported back out of the Amberverse. If you look to your right, there will be a stewardess to help you out of the Volvo station wagon, and you'll be back at home safe and sound in no time. I'd like to thank you for watching this episode of You Guys Have to Realize and remind everyone that these videos are put out for entertainment purposes only. Please, please do not send any hateful or disparaging remarks to myself or anyone mentioned in the videos. We're all just public figures here. I'd like to thank everyone for watching again, and I will see you all in the next one. Why don't we go? You don't have to be alone. How would I know? 
this 